Hello, I'm Mr. Merrill of Morningside Nature Center here in Gainesville, Florida, and I'd like to welcome you to Proud to be a Doodlebug. Now, I'm here to say that I want you to draw. And I can almost hear you say right now, well, I can't draw. Well, I'm here to say that's not so. You can draw, everybody can draw, everybody can be an artist. Now, I'm not saying you need to go and show it to everybody. When you're doing art, art can be just for yourself. It's very satisfying, it's a lot of fun, and you don't have to show anybody your doodling. Now, you can doodle, you can scratch and scribble and sketch and draw. Art is there. You can draw anything that your imagination flies free in. So let's give a go here. Uh, what sort of things do we need to get started? What sort of uh, materials do you need? They don't have to be really fancy. They can be like expex expensive uh, technical pens, but you don't need those. Not for doodling and sketching. You can use colored pencils. You can use ordinary everyday pencils. You can use ballpoint pens. You can use Sharpies, markers. And of course, you can use tracing paper. That can help you in transferring sketches and doodles. If you all of a sudden you do something you really like, then you can use tracing paper, drawing paper, but you don't need fancy, fancy uh, sketch pads. You can use nothing more than simple typing paper, copy paper from your printer or your copier or your typewriter. Now, let's get started. Let's actually do some doodling just for fun. First of all, let's try a simple doodle. This is something I just like to do. I'm going to use a Sharpie. Markers show up really well. Here's something I often like to do. Let's take an ordinary shape or just, I'm making a shape it doesn't have any meaning. Now, oh, what's kind of fun if I'm sitting around and I just want to like, daydream? I might, let's draw a parallel line right on the inside of that line. Oh, let's continue it. This is just relaxing, I'm doodling. This shows you don't have to draw something that looks exactly like something else. You can do things that are just simply calming, kind of fun to do. Oh, I could continue this all day if I wanted. Just go around the outside. You can end up making all sorts of unusual patterns. You can do this for relaxation. You can do this for fun. You can do this because you intend to color it in. You're going to make real art out of it. You can take your time, be careful, or you can just go very fast. Another thing I might sometimes like to do, let's just draw something. Don't know why. Maybe I'll make it symmetrical on each side. Well, looks like I'm trying to make a a reindeer or something, but no, I'm not. I'm just relaxing and enjoying myself. That's all art has to be. Make something that you just simply enjoy. And that's, that can go on 
for quite a quite a while. But let's do something. Let's get in. Oh, let's try a little bit of cartooning. I'm going to get rid of this sheet. I'll use this for something else. I'll actually use this on the back. Let's not waste any paper. All right. Well, what if I wanted to draw a, a cartoon character? What about eyes? I can maybe make an eye, two big eyes. Maybe with some eyelids. Make little crescents. It kind of looks like there's, there's a shining in the eyes. Some reflected light. Let's make some eyebrows. That's nice. Now eyes could be just simple little, simple little circles. And if you wanted the simple little circles looking somewhere, add the pupils. And you can make eyes that are just simple little dots. Maybe with a big funny nose and a mouth. What about, uh, what about different noses? You can have a little nose just like that. You could have a nose which is like that. A little button nose. And draw mouths that are very happy and teeth showing up top. You can have funny ears, big complicated ears. Chins, lower lips, cheeks, and the hair can be wild and crazy. And now my drawing, I'm just having fun. So this new drawing is interfering with these old eyes. That doesn't matter. I'll just redraw them somewhere else. But you can see you can go on and on with all sorts. Let's do a, let's make a character. Let's create a cartoon character. Oh, uh, let's make one up on along. Let's, uh, how about uh, an otter wearing a face mask? Let's try that. Let's, let's have, oh, a couple cute little otter eyes. And otters got cute little nose. Well, let's do their, let's do their little otter ears. But they're gonna be, it's, this is, ooh, we want to do a mascot, and a mascot sounds to me like masked otter. So let's do an otter with a face mask on. And of course, otters got cute little whiskers. So you got that mask on there, and maybe the whiskers are just sticking out from under the face mask. And the little otter is standing there. Oh, let's give him a nice little body with front legs. So you can see I'm just having fun here. Otters have a nice big fat tail. Let's draw that. Let's add a little bit of shading. On the underside. Yeah. 
And we have a masked otter. We can call it, uh, we'll call it Miss Cot. Miss Cot. The masked otter. Well, we can draw all sorts of other characters. I want you to use your imagination. Just have fun. Sketch. Make up different kinds of eyes. Make up different kinds of toes and fingers and hands. Make wings. Draw birds. Draw something you see around you. Draw, draw something in nature. Uh, I, I hear a Katie did now. I don't even know what a Katie did totally looks like. I haven't studied one, but maybe I can draw one. They got bug eyes, a little snout, and a funny body with wings. All because I heard a Katie did out there. Does that look like a Katie did? I don't think it looks like a Katie did in nature, but. Anyway, you get the idea. I want you just just start, pull out a piece of paper. You can use a pencil, a ballpoint pen. And whatever you do, be proud to be a doodlebug. Have a great day.